we are implementing our budgets, there are certain malpractices that have crept in. And indeed, that the spirit of the Constitution in creating the Office of the Controller of Budget was for the government to hear about the malpractices early enough so that corrective action could be taken. The Control of Budgets Office is that office that sees these things when they are still young, like the young boy. But what have we been doing? Have we been encouraging the young boy to steal some more? Your Excellency, mine is to seek support. As you saw today, when I introduced myself, I was all alone. And that's how I work. I have only one deputy and a very lean staff. When you hear the counties complaining that their requisitions have delayed, it is because we are very lean on the ground. Please support this office. Give us staff and give us resources. And just like the Auditor General said, we will see these things when they are young and we can nip them in the bud. We can stop the Auditor General writing pages and pages of audit queries, which, even if we wanted to address, they are really just too many. Every day you see them and you say, what shall we do to this country? And addressing the issue of budgets, let us budget carefully. Chairs of commissions, please advise those that you oversight to be serious about the budgeting. Let's not just make wish lists which we know cannot work. And at this time, when we are in a very tight spot financially, because of what we have done before, let us use every cent carefully, prudently, to achieve that uh, that we have intended to achieve. With those few remarks, Your Excellency, I wish to just congratulate those who are leaving office and also encourage those who are still in office to emulate all those good things that those who are leaving have done so that come the day when we are transitioning, everybody will clap that we have.